Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you guys so much for tuning in as we go ahead and take a look into that 70s show. This is season number one, episode number 21, called Water Tower. Uh, nothing is really clicking with me. I have no idea what that means, but okay, we're going to go ahead and take a look into this next episode and see what they're talking about when they're talking about Water Tower. Um, but anyways, ladies and gentlemen, in the previous episode, we uh, had a Star Wars kind of episode, which I thought was pretty... You know, pretty cool, pretty funny. Uh, Star Wars did come out in the 70s, so it totally makes sense that they would go over something like this. I do know uh, for sure that when Star Wars came out, it was like a huge you know, a huge thing. It was a pretty big deal. So it was only right for them to, uh, you know, include Star Wars some way, somehow in this show. Uh, but anyways, yeah, um, going into this next episode... I, I don't I don't know. We're going to just go in there and wing it like we always do, ladies and gentlemen. So if you are a fan of that 70s show, what we do here in Geek Down Nation, feel free to leave that like, comment, subscribe. Check us out on our Patreon for some early and unedited episodes. Anyways, let's take a look and see what this next one's all about. This is that 70s show, and here we go. Okay, I knew a water tower is that, but like I didn't get what, what was going to happen. You know what I mean? Plain place looks just like Paris. You think that looks like parrot? <laughs> Come on, man, shut up and just keep painting. It's done. <laughs> oh my goodness. Gentlemen, we have finally done it. A pot leaf on the water tower. So. Yeah. How's it look from down there? <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like it's giving me the finger. <laughs> Could have at least asked if he was okay. You should just take him to the hospital. No. <laughs> okay, let's go. Everybody hop in the car and let's go now. Where's your mom? Shut up! Don't you dare! <laughs> The cow kicked me after I tipped it over. <laughs> no way he's buying this. No way. I'm not lying. I was going to say. My friend and I would like a sponge bath now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you tried it fast. Erica, you're right. They were sleeping. <laughs> Let me see your eyes. <laughs> He's like, I can't look at you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> well, okay now. Um, so far Eric is nine out of ten. <laughs> He's got bloodshot eyes, mood swings, regular appetite, odd sleeping patterns. Oh, red. Our Johnny is high. <laughs> <laughs> I, I overslept and I'm late for school and s oh bye that kid's on dope <laughs> I'll say it's Sunday Who? I'm sure he wants to know. That is one drunk, slutty cheerleader. <laughs> there go her pom pom. All right, all right. That is quite enough. Everywhere I look now, it's sex, sex, sex. Well, it's just. Eric. Get off of my mom. What? <laughs> what is it with you? You've been extra losery late. They were like a pair of wildebeests on a National Geographic special. 
Oh my god, they're showing it? Oh my goodness. The unexplored psyche of a confused young man is a wilderness. <laughs> They're in love. They have urges and needs just like us. No urges, no needs. <laughs> I learned in psychology class that what you went through is ever. You know what the sad thing is? I actually think you're trying to be nice. I don't know. I can't tell. Yeah. It's just not my strong suit. Sorry. That's supposed to be your move, Eric. That's supposed to be your move. Don, I'm really not in the mood. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm trying to get a little action here. Donna, I just can't. And you liked it, right? No. Ew. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, good one. <laughs> All right, look. Donna, I don't see this receding. I mean, I walked in on Red and Kitty, and they were, they were right in the middle. Ew. Oh, God, that's nothing. I call my parents outside in broad daylight. I'm hammered. I remember, like, little bits of naked skin peeking through the holes of the hammock. Oh. Uh. But I knew it was a lie. <laughs> I knew what he did to my mom. Your mom. Okay, I'm ready to fool around. <laughs> <laughs> Not surprised. All right, all right. This is stupid. I just apologize already. Foreman, it's not my fault. Well, whatever he thinks it is. It is. You made me fall off the water tower. <laughs> How? Did I push you? True. Well, no, but did I make the railing slippery? True. No. Then how is it my fault? Because. Do you see my point? <laughs> yeah. It's funny when friends get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Kelso is such a dumbass. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, stop talking like a chick. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> now you're both idiots. <laughs> Father and I have noticed that you've been acting very strange lately. Like a hippie. Well, no wonder you've been acting so weird. Red, say something, make him feel better. There's nothing you can say um, to make me feel better. <laughs> it's more fun than it looks. Like, why? I would be like, why tell me that? <laughs> Poor Eric. What? What do you want me to say? No, uh, as a dancer. Oh. I imagine that would have been quite something. Quit it, Kitty. Oh. Hey, don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, stop it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was our episode for today. Season number one, episode number 21 water tower so of course the episode is titled that because they ended up drawing a a, a pot plant on the water tower um yeah that totally explains why fez wasn't at the end sequence of the show i noticed that uh ladies and gentlemen that uh when we had that whole moment between kelso and hyde where kelso wanted him to apologize uh hyde to apologize to him for what happened uh i noticed that fez was not present i i, I didn't know I didn't really think too much about it, but now, you know, after seeing what we've seen at the end of the episode, I guess it makes sense why he wasn't there, which 
by the way, that was pretty cool of Fez to to think of Kelso in that way to to want to finish out what they already started. You know what I'm saying? Nobody asked for it, but the fact that he thought of his friend, thought about how he was hurt, and, you know, that was just pretty cool to me. You know, that was a little cool thing to see Fez do right there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so we seen the episode for what it was, and boy, was it funny. This was a really, really funny episode, fun episode at that, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we were dealing with Eric walking in on his parents doing it. Now, thankfully... I never had to experience anything like that. I, I never experienced anything like what Eric experienced in this episode, even Donna. I wasn't quite sure if Donna was being truthful or if she was just saying this just to make Eric feel better. I'm not going to lie. Uh, the reason why I say that is because there was moments where when she was breaking down in detail what took place between her parents, she was like laughing. So I wasn't sure if like, the actress Donna herself, like, I don't know what the real actress name is, but I wasn't sure if the actress herself was, like, slowly breaking character, but it looked like that was what was happening here, because when she was, like, doing this moment here and explaining what she was, like, trying to explain, she had, like, a little smile on her face, and I wasn't sure if she was being honest or if she was just being funny, but once again... I could totally see the actress just possibly breaking character a little bit because what she was saying here was really, really funny. Like, I was, like, in tears this whole entire episode because I thought it was funny. Uh, I don't want to, you know, play the whole scene out just for copyright uh, purposes on YouTube and stuff, but, like, if you guys are, are curious on what moment I'm talking about, just go ahead and continue playing this scene. Let me, let me see, man. Can I get it? Can I get it? There's moments where she smiles. So, again, if you guys are curious, feel free. Go ahead about 15 minutes into the show. You guys could definitely check out what I'm talking about. Um, I thought Eric acted uh, relatively real, in my opinion, because I think the way Eric was acting after walking in on his parents, I think I probably would have been the same way. I don't think I could have looked at my mom like in her face, like there was a moment where uh, Kitty was like, hey, Eric, look at me. I'm talking to you. And he couldn't really look at her. Yeah, I think I would have been the same exact way. I would have been so grossed out. Uh, it's not going to be to a point where I'm like, I can't talk to them or anything like that. But I would definitely feel a bit awkward and weird at certain points, like like how Eric was down here, right? Kicking it with the friends, just chilling. And then they're talking about like sex on TV or whatever. He felt weird. He felt super uncomfortable, like, about what was happening because of what just took place. And I feel like I probably would have been the same way. You know, Eric's, what, 16, 17 years old? Yeah, I probably would have been exactly the same way. I thought it was uh, really, really funny, really awesome. Uh, great episode. Great episode. Uh, we even had Lori in this episode kind of trying to be there for Eric, like, you know, she kind of felt bad for what he's seen. I wasn't sure if she was being funny or if she was being nice. And I'm happy that Eric mentioned that because Eric mentions to Lori, like, I'm not sure if you're trying to be funny or if you're actually trying to be nice here. I'm like, yeah, thank goodness you said that because I couldn't read Lori either. I couldn't tell if she was just being an ass about the situation or what the case was. So I'm very happy that Eric did mention that because I was definitely thinking the same thing. Uh, but yeah, that was the episode, you guys. Of course, we had the whole Kelso incident, which I don't think that was really that big of a deal, to be honest with you. I didn't think that what took place between Hyde and Kelso was going to really affect their friendship or anything like that. I didn't think their friendship uh, was in trouble or anything. So I, I didn't really put too much thought into what was happening between Kelso and uh, Hyde. I figured this was something that they could definitely work out. But of course, everything with Eric was just so damn funny, you guys. It was just a great episode. I had so much fun with it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe, comment down below if there's anything you guys would like to mention about what we've seen in this episode, ladies and gentlemen. And I will see you on the next episode of That 70s Show. Take care, you guys.